Awesome. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another week of Marley and O. Woo. We're going to talk about books we don't like this week. Uh, we talked about books we liked uh, a couple weeks ago and decided, well, oh, we need to turn the tables a bit and talk about the ones we don't. We're not saying that they're bad books. Well, well, okay. But we're not <laughs> saying you should not try them yourselves. Fair. We just don't personally like these books. Yeah. Ooh, a bad taste in my mouth. Mm, yeah. You know, sometimes you come across them and some of, I think, at least two of these are books that I didn't finish because it is the 21st century and there are a lot of books out there and I am not going to waste my time on a book that is not. Yeah, there's three on here. No. One. Yeah, there's three on here that I did not finish. So out of five. I've only yeah. completely read two of them. I just couldn't get through them. When you know you don't like it, you don't have to finish it. I yeah, feel like and if you're not doing it for a class or something like that, then there's, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't bother. Right. <laughs> if you're not enjoying it by like 100 pages in, it's probably not worth it. Yeah, time to abandon ship. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or if like one of these books that I have, uh, there's just a quote in there that's just like, uh-uh, no, I'm done. Then, oh, wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got this. <laughs> Okay. So, well, first, you want me to go first? Um, you went first last two times. I'll go first this time. I guess. Okay. Okay. So my number five, after I go dive for some keys. Ah. Got to get that key snack. Oh yeah. All these leather keys. Hold these. Yeah. Okay. So my number five is Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. Really? Okay. Yeah. I don't like that book. Um, I I tried it. I had to read it in high school. I did not read it then. I think the, a lot of the things that happen in the book, I was just like, idiot, why would you do this kind of thing? Um, I still kind of feel that way about the main character, but uh, we recently did it for my crossover club. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, I actually picked a book I don't like for crossover club. I do that on purpose every now and then. Uh, just to like see who likes it so we can pick it up. <laughs> My theory is if people don't like the book you're discussing, you'll have really great discussion. That's probably really true. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes some pretty great discussions for books that people, like sometimes people will enjoy the book and other times people won't. And mm -hmm. those discussions are the best discussions. <laughs> that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I have tried to read Catcher in the Rye, I think twice. And I just like, hi, look at that cat. Hi. <laughs> um, and I just like, I don't think I ever got past the first page, but I didn't have like such a reaction that I was like, oh, I hate this book. It was more like a, no, no. Right. Like, kind of like a, <laughs> yeah. well, John, um, uh, who uh, we used to work with, uh, explained it to me a bit that uh, it's not really supposed to have a purpose like a point there's no like goal in mind necessarily this is just supposed to be like in the mind of a teenage boy who um just got kicked out of school again and he's just like i don't know he's gonna go wander around and it's just it's not supposed to have much of a point kind of thing but, oh, which is something that i just can't get my head over. like i can i understand the idea i can't understand the reading yeah, I like to read with like, I want to gain something from yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. And if I read it and I'm just like, mm -hmm. did I just waste all those hours? Or <laughs> I don't want that. I'm not a fan. All right, so what's your number five? Um, my number five, actually, I didn't order these. They're kind of, I just realized they were just kind of as I thought of them. So I guess I'll start with this one. I'll okay. start with five. Okay, so I don't like any John Green books. Really? Um, I like John Green as a person. Like I really like Crash Course and I think he's a really smart guy and I think he's really funny, but I didn't like being a teenager. So like, as I was a teenager, I was like <laughs> teenagers. And so it was not relatable at all. <laughs> so I was like reading these books about these teenagers doing stuff and I was like, ew. <laughs> And so uh, I just, it, I didn't vibe. I didn't vibe. So, so are you in the DFTBA group or? No, you know but my the... sister always loved those. Like she loved <laughs> all of John Green's books and she was like obsessed. She had signed posters from The Fault in Our Stars. And I was always like, 
That's awesome. Okay. <laughs> Sorry you don't like those. My favorite one is, uh, what is it? Um, they live in Florida. There's Abundance of Catherines. That was uh, fun. Towns, Turtles All the Way Down, Fault in Our okay. Stars, Looking for Alaska. It might have been Looking for Alaska. That one I... No, know. it wasn't Looking for Alaska. It was... Okay, there's one that they go on a road trip and they almost hit a cow. And that scene was hilarious to me. I, I can't think of it. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, cows. I'll probably think of it like, it, like one of the friends, his, uh, his parents collected black Santa Claus. And... <laughs> I am going to be the least helpful person. I know, I know. You're the wrong person to talk to. <laughs> I'll probably get a text from my, one of my friends after this post and she'll be like, uh, it's this book. Obviously, what are you thinking? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. But no John Green, huh? Wow. John Green. I just, I just don't vibe. Like, I, I think he's a talented dude. Uh, I don't mm -hmm. like him. Uh, okay. That's fair. That's fair. And it's not like a visceral hate. It's just kind of like a, oh, no. Not your thing. Okay. I was kind of that way about Veronica Roth. Yeah, yeah. I just most teen fiction does not. See, I love teen fiction. It's I know you do. So I'm like talking to the wrong person too, but <laughs> it doesn't suit me. <laughs> like these teenagers go and do things, and all I did was sit in my room. So, well, that's kind of why I like teen fiction. Yeah, I, I also yeah. just sat around that's while right. I marched and all that stuff in high school. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. That's fair enough. Yeah. Uh, my number four. Okay, I'm not a fan of Charles Dickens at all anyway. Same. But Tale of Two Cities, I could not finish. That's fair. That's it fair. was so slow. Yeah, I totally forgot about Dickens. I'm surprised he's not on my list. Like, how long does it take to describe somebody going down the road? So he was paid by the word. Did you know yeah, that? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Some, that, someone had to tell me that, and I was like, yeah. Yep. Good job yeah. exploiting that, Charles. Right, yeah, like, mm -hmm. but if I were paid by the word, you bet I would be rambling. But, so. see, one of my favorite books um, by uh, Cassandra Clare, um, she talks about Dickens, and her two of her main characters like love Tale of Two Cities, and like, she's lying. They do don't. It. <laughs> they might think they love Dickens, but they don't. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm gonna try it on audiobook, thinking maybe that'll be better. I'll have to let you know how that goes. But uh, you're really good at audiobook just sitting reading. down yeah. with the book, trying to read it, it just wasn't happening. I think I got like, I made myself get through like probably 20% of the book, and then it's like I can't, I can't do this anymore. That's pretty good. That's a pretty big accomplishment. I have to. Right? Admit, to be well, that's my goal. Is about like maybe not quite a quarter of the way through, but I, I try to get through a good chunk of it before I really give it judgment. Some people say a hundred pages, but sometimes you get a hundred pages in and you're like, oh, it's really dry. And then the next hundred pages is like, oh, hey, things are picking up. Like, okay. Right. Yeah. You can have a lot of exposition that mm -hmm. you need and then it's finally, you know. Like up. The Hobbit is slow too. The Hobbit is slow, but then it's good. <laughs> but it's got really good scenery and interesting characters. Right. Tale of Two Cities, it was just people. And I mean, that. I get that, but. Yeah, no. I, I don't I, need to know the full description know. of what the wagon looked like down to the paint chips. I'm good. <laughs> I got better things to do with my time. Right. <laughs> okay. Like, I can describe a wagon. <laughs> um, Okay, my number four is Jude the Obscure by Thomas Hardy. I've never read that one. It's not great. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. I, I think that partial, partially it was situational. Um, in order to get into English, little lady, little lady has book thought. Um, in order to get into AP English my senior year of high school, I had to read this over the summer and write a big long paper. And oh, I wanted I to do neither of those things over my summer. So mm -hmm. I was like, I hate this book. I have no idea what's happening. Let me spark notes it. <laughs> so it just didn't, it, it was boring and confusing. And I was like, I don't know what's happening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I became an English major for a couple of years and then we're like, oh, Thomas Hardy, we love him. 
I was like, oh, we do. No. <laughs> it's Why? okay. You don't have to like the same books as everybody else. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not a fan. But everyone, now my friends are like, you should reread it and see if maybe you like it more. And I'm like, no, I read it once. That was enough. Yeah. I don't have to like it. And sometimes and you get a really, like a book that you really enjoyed in school and you're like, oh yeah, I should read that again. And you shouldn't sometimes because you read it once and it's really great. And you read it again. And you're like, why did I like this? What book are you describing here? Um, there's a few, uh, a couple, um, uh, Mark Twain books. Oh, okay. Sure. Yep. <laughs> Valid. <laughs> uh, okay. So my number three is Life and Death, uh, Twilight Reimagined by Stephanie Meyer. You read that? I didn't know you read it. Okay. I got not very far at all. Like I didn't even get to my percent finished thing. Wow. Yeah. So it's what it is, is it's, um, it's the exact same book as Twilight. Mm -hmm. It's just the main character is now male. Sure. And the thing she, she didn't do a great job in changing things over, um, for like, okay. Mom and I look so much alike that we share razors sometimes or something. I, it was like a cult like that. That was like, oh, <laughs> they just changed all the what does this mean? Over. I yeah. just I stopped there. It's like no, she she didn't put any thought into this other than changing the sex yeah, of the like, characters. I have an idea. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I am yeah. looking forward to the new one that she's finally writing again. What is it? Midnight Sun. Uh, yeah, I think so. It's like Edward's point of view. I look forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I know there's a bunch of like uh, anti Twilight feelings just because it's like, oh, she wasn't. Um, she's not. Pleasure. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, but it's I enjoyed her. So, I mean, like, in my yeah. opinion, you don't have to be so highly edgy. If you write a good book, you write a good book. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not like. Yeah, I, I like, I like them, but guiltily. <laughs> I'm not a fan of the movies, though. I like to watch the movies and make fun of them. It's a personal favorite. Okay, cast okay, that's, that's fair. a lot of fun. <laughs> I did watch them when they all came out, but uh, they're not on my watch again list. No, no. that's okay. They don't need to be. <laughs> okay, my number three is Atlas Shrugged and Rand. Mm. When I was a youth, uh, there was a $10,000 scholarship that you could like write a paper about the Atlas Shrugged. And I was like, that would be great. I would love for, to help pay for my college. Uh -huh. uh, then I like got to page three and was like. Yeah, I remember when you were reading that and I just looked at you and I'm just like, you fool. You fool. <laughs> it was awful. Um, but I am also kind of convinced that no one actually likes it. Like, it has a lot of five and four star ratings on Goodreads, and I'm convinced they're all liars. <laughs> I think everybody who likes it must be a college professor who just likes <sighs> pushing it off on other people who read. I don't know. Very suspicious about it. I'm like, mm, did you really read it? Are you know you there's a, a TV show or a movie now? No. Yeah, on Amazon, I think. Weird. Yeah, I'm... I don't want to watch it, but yet I'm very curious yeah. to know how it is compared to the book. But yeah, I don't so want to watch it, but I can redeem this. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be my magnum opus. <laughs> Just like Anne Rand said. <laughs> um, okay, so my my number two uh, is another one that I didn't get through. Uh, you What's the matter? What's the lady? You want to hold these? And they're on the floor again. Okay. What is the price? I think you can hear my dog snorting in the background. <laughs> Very classy. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. You want to hi to people. You want to say hi? Hi, little lady. Hi. hi. Yeah. What? Is that Marlena? And the whole wide world? Yeah. We're looking at you and your cute little face. <laughs> She's so sweet. <laughs> we'll see how long she lasts without her teeth. 
<laughs> um, oh, right. So my number two, uh, is one that I didn't get through, but, um, so I decided a while back, quite a while back, um, that, let's see, I'm a, I'm a fan of a League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, that, the movie. There's a comic book series, too. I believe you. Okay. Well, anyway, there's, um, it, it's based on, it's like, it's like Avengers, but with classic book characters. Mm -hmm. So you okay. have Mina Harker, and you have Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, and you have Adam okay. Mortimer. Very cool. Right. So I decided I was going to read through all of the books that the those authors wrote. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm doing pretty good on that. But I got to Jules Verne. Oh, and yes. I decided, okay, these books are written in a kind of an order, not written necessarily have to be read in order. So I got through um, Around the World uh, in 80 Days. Um, that was fine. The Adventures of Captain Hatteras, on the other hand, I could not do it. Um, he goes on an Arctic expedition trying to find like the Northwest Passage or something like that. And I'm going to take her out of her seat. Um, it, it was just so much racism. It was, oh. yeah, it was, like, I realized that at the time it was written in France, maybe that wasn't such a big deal, but right now, or any time since, yeah, I just can't, like, everybody makes it such a big deal about Jules, Jules Verne and how great his, uh, um, imaginings were and yeah he had great technology technology imaginings but the way no there's just some things in there that i just don't find acceptable yeah i can't come back I, I just couldn't read it yeah that's fair i might try it again but it'll be quite a long time from now i don't maybe i'll try a different book maybe it won't be quite so bad but yeah i'm not a huge fern fan yeah i don't think i've read anything by him you don't. <laughs> I mean, okay, you can. <laughs> Go ahead and try. I should have started with um, the one with Captain Nemo. That's what I should have oh. started with, but I didn't. It's hard. Than that. Old books are hard sometimes. Yeah. So. Burn All right. My number two is The Scarlet Letter. You were talking about that. Yeah. I do not like The Scarlet Letter. Um, I, don't, I couldn't stand the style of writing, and I just yelled at the audiobook every 30 seconds because I just wanted it to be over and it was so long and also you know I just I understand it's an important work in American history but basically you, it can be summed up and just they didn't like it women they didn't like women. <laughs> and they didn't like it when they married so I'm good I just didn't finish it I was not jazzed <laughs> I was not jazzed Gwyneth Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Just to be cute. All right. See, I I read the Scarlet Letter too, but I I also read it just for on my own kind of fun thing. But I don't know. I didn't mind it. But I think sometimes I'll I'll watch a movie that'll reference an old classic book, and I'll be like, oh, I should read that book. And then I'll have the movie in mind when I'm reading it, so maybe that makes it better. I don't know. But I watched Easy A before I read that book. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's like, I could take the concepts from that movie and apply them to the book. And mm -hmm. I don't know, it just matched up nicely for sure. understanding and that it was still a horrible story, but. Yeah, I just, it was boring and very preachy. <laughs> very <laughs> preachy, yes. Could be because one of the main characters was a preacher. Right, yeah, that does help. <laughs> So I was like, I, eh, meh. my friends really love it. And I was like, I don't love this. I'm not in love with this. <laughs> okay, so I guess we're at our own number ones, huh? Number one. Uh, number one for me has already been mentioned by you. Oh my goodness, was it Anne Rand? It was, it was Atlas Shrugged. I did okay. the same thing as you. I um, applied for that scholarship. I read that book over a summer and it was a, horribly wasted summer. Uh, horribly wasted. <laughs> isn't that so sad? It's just, there's so much content, and it's so dry, and the concepts are just 
Did you hit your head? <laughs> my, my, my head is <laughs> hurting. Hey, sorry. Um, yeah, I don't know. It was, an, there were some interesting ideas in it, like, um, just following like the steel industry and um, trains and such like that. But I'm gonna spoil it. Everybody that's smart leaves at the end to go live in a commune in the Rocky Mountains and leaves the rest of us on our own. Rude. Yeah. So it's just like, okay, thanks for your help, guys. Yeah. Bye. I'd like to know what the point is or what you wanted to say, but also I don't care. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't care. It's so big. It is it's ugly. And it's not the only book of hers. I know. What is the other one? Um, I don't care. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't remember. I just remember seeing like, or three copies of Atlas Shrugged in the shelves and be like, we don't need three. Yeah. Three. Okay. That scholarship really pushing things. Really ambitious of you to try to check that out and read it in three weeks. I, I want to meet people who have won that scholarship and ask them what, Why? what they got out of that. Did you have fun? <laughs> Was it worth it? <laughs> Oh, that would be sad. Mm -hmm. All right, my but number yeah, you, one. You look at that scholarship and you're like, okay, I can read a book, write a report. Easy, easy work. Easy. I've done it my whole life. <laughs> no. no. You have not done that your whole life. We're, we're going to save you from that hell. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're not going to do that, honey. Sorry. All right, my number one is the Red Badge of Courage. And I'm pretty angsty about it because, okay, so it's about the Civil War. Have you read it? Mm-mm. Okay, so it's about the Civil War, and they were like, it's a really, you know, it's the best book written about the Civil War. You know, they do a really good job portraying, and, but he never fought in the Civil War. Like, the author just was making it up. <laughs> he, like, read reports, but he never fought, and I'm, like, personally offended by people who write about things they did not experience. Mm. I'm just kind of, like, and the whole time, the, um, is you're supposed to be sympathetic to the main character who's like, oh, I kind of want to abandon because I'm afraid. And I'm like, you coward. <laughs> you coward. So he was annoying and terrible. And I disliked the book from start to finish. And I had to read it for school. And I made sure that every time I had to talk about it, I was like, I hate this book. <laughs> and I hate the character. And I think it's awful. And I would not recommend it. Which I don't think is what I was supposed to say. But I like to... Uh, be honest about the books that I hate. <laughs> that makes me think of uh, an English class. Um, I don't remember what year it was, but everything we read was super depressing. Everything we read was super depressing. So we had an assignment where we had to write a short story. Um, and I wrote about um, a little girl who uh, was out with no Wait, she's like out for a walk or something or a bike ride um, mm -hmm. in the wilderness out in Washington State and the volcano erupts and she has no way out. So she's just watching her, her death coming at her. <laughs> and I wrote that to emphasize just how depressing and tragic all of the stories that we've been reading <laughs> have been. That was a downer, prof. <laughs> <laughs> this was <is> rough. <laughs> mm -hmm. So the next book that we had to read was Hatch. That's good. That's good. I'm glad to hear that because that sounds like a lot. Yeah. The whole class, like, you know, if people would read their stories and uh, I like that. And they're like, oh, yeah, that's a good book. And then I go up and I read mine and everybody's just like dead silent. There's no clapping. There's no noise. Like, oh. and, then, and then one of my classmates is like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Like, yes, this is how I feel about all the depressing books that we've hey, read. Someone's got to say it. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we're all thinking it. <laughs> all right. So those are the books we don't like. We're not saying you can't like them. Go ahead and try that scholarship. We'll talk. Come talk to us if you don't like it, though, because then we have some those. company. <laughs> Like-minded people here. Um, so let us know in the comments what books you guys didn't enjoy either, and maybe we'll agree with you. Maybe we'll disagree with you. Maybe we'll just try to read them ourselves if we yeah. haven't them yet and we'll find out yeah. if uh, we like them either. 
So what's coming up? So I know that mine is the furthest away out of ours, but on Monday, the 15th, I will be posting a macrame wall hanger video for like holding your little plant hanging on the wall. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, you have your fiction yes. book club tomorrow. Yes. So tomorrow I have, um, I'll be posting a cooking video at six. Okay. Um, six. Yeah. Uh, those will start in earnest. <laughs> <laughs> or wait, did I have those on today or Wednesday? Or today or Thursday? I don't know. We'll be cooking videos. I can't remember what day it is. I'm not looking at my calendar. I should have my calendar in front of me. I don't have it in front of me. Okay. Yikes. But I can tell you tomorrow of book club, uh, what we'll be doing is we'll be discussing fiction books, any fiction books. Um, this is for adults. Uh, teens can join us. Uh, no little kids, please. Uh, just because we don't want to talk about... Uh, we can talk about Junie B. Brown, but... Uh, We'd like to keep the conversations to uh, adult level. Uh, mm -hmm. I will be also preparing dinner during that time because this one eats at 6.30. So uh, feel free to do the same. Feel free to eat your dinner. Uh, don't care what, Fine. whatever you want to do. Uh, please don't, please don't uh, join the uh, discussion from your toilet. I would not appreciate that. <laughs> I'm glad that's but, not um, what you can do uh, for any of our events coming up is you can go on to Bradley Public Library's website, uh, bradleylibrary.org, and then you go to the Summer Reading tab, and you click on one of the events, any one of the events that's showing up in the bottom right corner, and it'll bring you to the calendar, and you'll be able to view events, sign up for whatever you need to sign up on there for, and then if it's a Zoom meeting, which is usually what the sign up is going to be for, um, we will send you an email, you'll get a link, and you'll be able to join the meeting. Yeah. Simple as well. It sounds more complicated than it is. We will also have posts going up on Facebook for you to just click and go directly there too. So yeah. we don't have to worry about that. Mm -hmm. We're making progress on our, our website and our new calendar. So we're very excited. Mm -hmm. We're also all getting used to it. <laughs> yeah. And then Friday night at 8.30, uh, I'm going to be doing a James Bond trivia over Zoom. Fun. Yeah, you should join too. <laughs> I don't know anything about James Bond. No? No, literally, I don't think I've seen a single movie. Oh. Is that bad? Okay, so next week, maybe we should talk about how Marlena hasn't seen a single James Bond movie. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> oh, so a anyway, we're going to have trivia uh, 8.30, Friday night. Uh, sign up for that the same way. Um, there'll be a link. Uh, there's a post going out that um, has like a magnifying glass and it's got the link on there for, for that. Or you can just go to our calendar on our website, sign up that way. Sweet. And if you have any problems whatsoever, just send us a message and we will be happy to guide you through it. We are always happy to do that. We're pretty much on call all the time. Yep, that's what we do now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, anything else? I think that that will do it. Okay, well, we'll see you all next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.